live from Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. I'm so excited. Welcome to the show, Justin Bernardes. He has got over 20 million views and two really hot singles. How are you today? I'm doing amazing. How are you guys? Fantastic, Fantastic man. Fantastic. Congrats. Yeah, Thank congratulations. You. Let's talk about your journey to becoming the R&B pop artist that you are today. L.A., born and raised. Tell us about it. Well, let's see. I started doing music when I was in about maybe like third grade. Um, I was in like band at my middle school oh, awesome. and, and I loved it. And ever since that, it kind of, it really just continued. And, you know, before I was a solo artist, I was actually in a group and um, I was able to tour the world and mm -hmm. really network and meet a lot of amazing people. And you know, at a point in a group, you, you still need to evolve. And so I, I left the group and I've been making my own music, and like you guys said, it's it's doing great. And I'm really wow. grateful. Wow. Really grateful. What do you think it is about your mu uh, music that resonates with people most deeply? I think it might be the topics that I talk about. I think because I'm just being myself, and you know, sometimes in the music industry, it becomes about what's trendy, or maybe you know, you say certain things to build an audience. But I feel like I'm just very organic. I'm just me, and I just. I want to spread my message to everybody that's willing to listen. So what is that message? What would you say if, if someone's coming and they're, you know, in the conversation of your lyrics and, and what your message is, what is that? I think it's just to be yourself. And I, I know a lot of people say that, but I feel like you really need to implement that in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, whatever you believe, just stick to it. And mm -hmm. eventually people will listen. If you have something valuable to offer, I think people are always willing to listen. So, so true. just be yourself, be organic. Yeah. You don't have to impress anyone. Just we talk a lot about that, about living your truth and, you know, all of us kind of resonate and everyone is has a unique truth, you know, Absolutely. and we look at what is that in your career? What is that in your relationships? What is that in your health? And, you know, it works for one person sleeping. It's going to be totally different for another person. Oh, yeah. So in a band, that's really challenging. And I, and so there's benefits of being a band, though, because there's a lot of synergy. There's some Definitely. amazing things. So what would you say being a solo artist versus that? What how's that work for you? I think being a solo artist, what I really enjoy is the creative control, not necessarily having to go through five or six people right. to to agree on the same thing. So I really like the creative control. I like writing the music that I'm feeling in that moment. You know, sometimes if you're in a group, you all have to agree on a certain topic and, you know, make sure everyone's on the same page. But being a solo artist, I'm just able to write how I'm feeling in that moment, put out the song, and just keep excelling forward. What artists have really inspired you? Honestly, not a lot, but I grew up listening to Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. I think his voice is phenomenal. Um, other than that, I don't I don't really think anybody else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sorry. So the industry we know, and I have a lot of friends that are in the music industry, and it used to be very different. You know, albums used to make a lot of money. Yeah. Totally different since, you know, iTunes and Spotify and all that. Now a lot of it is in touring. Definitely. So how do you see monetization and how does that look for you? You know, it's, we're going through this whole thing with social media. How do you take them onto another track? Some artists are taking it into events. What does that look like for you? I um, definitely think streaming has definitely become just a staple as far as monetization. It's it's crazy. Like you said, albums aren't really selling the way they were. But thankfully, you know, because Spotify, Apple Music and Tidal and all of these other platforms, artists are really able to capitalize on their income and finally, you know, start kind of recouping everything. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really grateful I've been able to get on several major Spotify playlists, including mm -hmm. New Music Friday for both of my singles awesome. now. So that yep. has definitely helped. But I would just say streaming just seems to be taking over. Touring as well, I think merchandise, mm -hmm. very, very important. Mm -hmm. So I, I have a clothing line that I've merged with my also like artist merchandise. And that's definitely been helping me like oh. keep you know, a nice stable income as well. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say that ice around your neck, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. You're doing all right right now. Yeah. <laughs> How would you describe your style in, in both fashion and music? Ooh, that's a great question. I've never been asked that, okay. <laughs> As far as music goes, like you guys said, I think like R&B and pop, I grew up, I mean, a lot of people, like, I love One Direction, I love Justin Bieber, I love all of that, but at the same time, if I'm on stage, like I like turning up, I like getting the crowd hype, I like jumping, I'll be sore the next day, oh, but wow. it's worth it. Um, as far as fashion, um, that's a great question. I don't really know. I think I'll see a picture on Instagram maybe, and I'm like, that's a cool look, like wow. I like that. Like I'm wearing the turtleneck, it's kind of nice, but then the distressed jacket. So it really just varies. It depends on I'm inspired. If, I, if tomorrow I come in with turtleneck and a jean jacket. right? Maybe we could swap some closets. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so what rough. would you say you're at your creative best? That's a great question as well. Um, 
I think all times of the day, there's never really a moment where it goes lower. I think it's really important to keep the threshold high and, and keep、um, just working hard. There was a quote、um, in a book I recently read. It was, don't, what was it? Don't decrease your goals, only increase your efforts.、Uh, so I always try to stay up here as far as creativity and just do the best I can at all times. Love nice.、It. You、That's、gotta、great. bottle that, man. A lot of people、right. can use that all day creativity、oh, yeah. in a bottle.、Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, where can we、um, listen to your music besides online? What's the next place that we can hear you、Ooh. playing? Well, there's actually there's a new song coming out today.、Ooh. I was waiting to get s h a r e d Oh, really? It comes out today. It's called Baila.、Um, I sing in Spanish, a little bilingual in there.、Mm-hmm. Cool. But yeah, if you guys want to hear it, YouTube, Apple Music, and、cool. all those. Quick question. Can I shout out some people really quick? Of course.、Um, yeah. I, have, I have my dad in the other room. My dad's my best friend.、Um, so I want to shout out my dad.、Um, We love your dad. <laughs> my family, all of the fans, you guys are absolutely amazing. Shout out to Patricia's Hair Trends in Upland. She does great hair. My barber, c l i n e Of course, you guys. You guys are absolutely amazing. <laughs> And、uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you、so、thank you. Tell everyone where they can find and follow you. If you guys want to follow me,、um, my Instagram is at Justin Bernardez underscore. You can find me on Facebook as well, but Instagram is my main platform. And like I said, I'm really grateful for you guys and thank you、Great. for the opportunity. Thank you. Grateful for you. Thank you. So if you're looking to find your authentic voice, follow、mm-hmm. this young gentleman artist himself. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you.